Greetings to all you exquisitely inquisitive ladies, gentlemen, and scholars, and welcome to Physics in the News with Jay Allen. Physicists at the University of Yale have taught Schrodinger's cat a brand new trick recently. But before we go into that, allow me to explain the origins of this famous kitty. Initially, Schrodinger's cat was a thought experiment thought up by Erwin Schrodinger around 1935, where this imaginary cat is placed in an imaginary box along with a radioactive material that has a 50-50 chance of decaying. If the material decays, a Geiger counter is triggered, causing a hammer to fall, breaking open a bottle of poisonous gas. However, because of the absurdly weird properties, of quantum mechanics, the particles that make up the radioactive material exist in what is known as a superposition of multiple states until someone comes along to make an observation of the particle's condition. The instant the observation is made, the particles will resort to deciding on one of the many states that these particles were concurrently existing as. And so, presumably, because of the 50-50 chance the material has of decaying, it will exist in both a state of decay, while simultaneously having not decayed. Thus, the hammer has both fallen and not fallen, causing the cat to be killed and not killed by the poison, continuing in this dual existence until someone looks into the box. Later, this idea was taken out of the realm of hypothetical thought and into the realm of actual lab experimentation, revealing that this absurd notion of reality is in fact how stuff actually works, at least when it comes to the subatomic world of particles and without any kitties being harmed in the process. A team of physicists led by Chen Wang from Yale University have now taken this idea a step further by performing a brand new experiment asking the question, what if there were two cats? The metaphorical cats here being electromagnetic waves in the form of microwave photons. The experiment process began by building two aluminum cavities and releasing microwave photons inside of them. The cavities were connected by a superconducting sapphire chip and an aluminum circuit, which provided a tunnel of sorts that the photons could travel through contingent on whether the tunnel was opened or closed. These photons would oscillate at different frequencies depending on their state. Due to the kooky properties of quantum mechanics, the tunnel has the ability to exist both fully open and fully closed within the same moment, causing both cavities to have two frequencies existing at the same instant as well. The team observed that when the link between the two cavities were shut down, the photons in the two boxes were still connected. The figurative cat that had been cut in two was behaving as if it were still whole. The experiment demonstrated the cat as not being in one box or the other, but rather that it inhabited both places within a single temporal juncture, because both halves were intricately linked. What this reveals is that the electric field will always be in sync in both cavities, allowing for practical applications for advancements in quantum computing. The two cavities can potentially serve as two quantum bits, otherwise known as qubits, and because of the way the electric field can consistently stay in sync in each of the cavities, they are more resistant to errors than other types of qubits formerly developed. Practical applications aside, what I find most exciting is how natural reality 
is just as crazy and bizarre, if not more so, than any ancient supernatural superstitions and myths man has ever devised. That concludes this episode of Physics in the News. If it pleased you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.